Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com, and in this video we're going to compare the HTC One X with the iPhone 5. Let's get to it. Okay, so both of these devices are very different, but they have one thing in common. They both have extremely highly regarded displays. In fact, for the last six months or so, most people would agree that the HTC One X is the phone to have the best display. It's got amazing color, amazing contrast, a great PPI, and overall it just has really good qualities of a good display. Then the iPhone 5 came out, which improved upon the iPhone 4S's display by increasing color saturation, it's higher resolution, and it can fit more on the screen at one time. So in this video, we're going to let you decide if you think the One X is better than the iPhone 5, or if the iPhone 5 is the new reigning champ in terms of quality of display. So let's talk about specifications. These are obviously very different. There are two versions of the One X. This particular version is the Tegra 3 Quad Core International version, which has a gigabyte of RAM, uh, but in the US on AT&T, you can only get it on one carrier, uh, you get it with a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 1.5 gigahertz uh, dual core CPU with one gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage. Now, the Apple iPhone 5 is available on three carriers in the US and in some places it actually will work on T-Mobile. Uh, we've got the A6 dual core one gigahertz CPU here with one gig of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage to start. And these are about the same price. Actually, the One X might have come down a little bit. They both started at 199 for the 16 gigabyte version and the One X might actually be at about 99 bucks now with a two year contract. Both of these devices have LTE. They both have eight megapixel cameras. We'll talk more about camera quality later. They both have a, about 1.2 megapixel front facing cameras and a lot of other features that you would expect. So in a lot of ways, they're very similar. Obviously, they're running different software. We've got Android 4.0.3 here uh, and iOS 6. Now let's talk about the hardware on both of these. The HTC One X is uh, about 8.9 millimeters thick. And you know, in the hand it feels extremely thin because what HTC has done is that they've carved out this nice edge. So when you wrap your hands around the device, you're actually feeling this hard edge and not sort of this sort of bulbous backing that contains the battery. Kind of a trick that a lot of manufacturers are doing now, but it works, it makes the device feel thin. HTC also has this infinity display, so it kind of looks like the display keeps going as it sort of wraps around the edges, definitely has a really unique design. Then on the back we've got the polycarbonate here and a very attention getting uh, lens or, or ring around the 8 megapixel camera. HTC has their dedicated image sense chip which should make taking photos uh, much better with, with their software and the quality should be a lot better. Of course we have a flash here. Uh, micro SIM, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and the standard micro USB. The iPhone 5, on the other hand, is no slouch in the design department. Apple went with a truly unique design here. We've got uh, this beautiful aluminum on the back flanked by pieces of glass, depending on what color you went with. Then we've got these beautiful chiseled edges that kind of give it a shiny jewelry-like, that's what some people are saying. I don't think it looks like jewelry, it just kind of looks elegant. Uh, and we, it goes all around the edges, and these, these beveled edges are really nice. It looks good on a table. Uh, we've got a 4-inch screen here. Over here it's a 4.7-inch screen, 312 PPI, 326 PPI, slightly higher here on the iPhone 5. And we've got a nice standard 1280 by 720 resolution on the One X, but on the iPhone 5, not a standard resolution. We have 1136 by 640, so not true HD, although playing back HD content on the, on the iPhone 5 actually looks pretty good. Uh, beyond that, we've got the uh, eight megapixel cameras mentioned with a flash. We've got non-standard lightning, which won't work with anything right now. It's the first iOS device to have it. You probably don't have a cable for it, and you're gonna have to buy the converter for 29 bucks. And of course, we've got the nice speaker grill along the bottom, kind of similar in a way to what HTC has done with these drilled holes kind of a new trend from smartphone manufacturers. Okay, so let's talk about display quality. I've got both of these devices set to 50% screen brightness, and it's not on auto brightness, so it'll stay at that 50% level. Obviously here we've got totally different interfaces, iOS 6 with lots of icons, and Sense 4.1 with a lot of widgets. So what I want to do now is go into the web browser and bring up the same image and see if we can get a comparison. But first I kind of want to give you a close-up 
of the screens on these devices. So I'm going to get close to some text, let the camera focus. So you can kind of look at the clarity and the PPI and the color saturation without getting a reflection. And then we'll go over here. Now we'll go over here to the HTC One X. They both have just fantastic screens. It's going to be really difficult uh, to pick a winner. Uh, something that's very clear right off the bat is if you want a bigger screen, obviously you're going to go with the One X. Uh, 4.7 inches is 0.7 inches bigger uh, than the iPhone 5's 4-inch screen, and it's, it's, it's significant at the end of the day. Okay, so let's go to the internet browser on both, and we're going to just open up a blank page here. Then we're going to do a Google search, we'll go to Google Images actually, and we are going to search for palm tree. Here we go. Okay, here we are, we have the same results, and let's look for something that looks kinda nice. I like this right here. We'll bring both of those up, we'll hit full size image here, full size image there. Not sure if this is a high res image or not. Um, good enough to see the difference in color. So, the iPhone 5 at medium brightness is dimmer than the HTC One X at minimum brightness, which means that the One X has a brighter screen. If you turn it up to 100%, it's going to be brighter because at 50% it's brighter. Uh, so that's something to consider. You can see that the whites, or the kind of the whites in the cloud are more apparent. Um, in terms of color profiles, they both have very similar color profiles. What I mean by that is that the blue here it's very similar to the blue here. It just looks a little brighter here, a slightly whiter, but I think that's because of the brightness. The green is nearly the same shade green. This is not like a comparison when we compare the iPhone 5 with an AMOLED screen, because these are both LCD displays, RGB subpixel configurations, very similar display types, just one is bigger and apparently one is brighter. Uh, so let's go back to the previous page and see if we can get another picture of a palm tree. All right, let's go to this guy here. Full size image. And and once again, we're seeing the exact same thing. So on the One X, we're seeing that everything's kind of a little bit lighter, a little bit brighter. Uh, we're actually seeing a little bit of gray here in the water, whereas here it's very much aqua, uh, which, which again, might be because of the brightness, but uh, it, it looks like the, the One X is actually displaying a nicer picture here. Uh, so they're very similar displays. It looks like the One X might be slightly better. It's a matter of personal preference, and this is not a scientific test, uh, but based on this, it does look like, I'd prefer anyway, looking at the One X uh, for 12 hours a day than looking at the iPhone 5, which is not to say that the iPhone 5 has a bad screen. The One X just has an incredible screen. By the way, if you want to see our comparison of iOS and Jelly Bean, which will be on the One X in the near future, we'll put a link up at the video right here so you can check out that comparison. So we hope you enjoyed this comparison video. It does look like that the One X's display is slightly better than the iPhone 5. Uh, we're going to have more on camera quality in an upcoming video, so keep an eye on that. Both of these devices have great hardware. Uh, the iPhone is just a little bit faster at the end of the day, but when Jelly Bean hits the One X, that might be a different story. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. That's it for now.